transition to the Phoenix Suns. So the Phoenix Suns are officially back in the playoffs and for the first time in over 10 years. Okay, They are a playoff team this year in 2021. They're the number two seed in the Western Conference with a 51 and 21 record. They're the number two seed. And they currently are going against the defending NBA Finals champion, Los Angeles Lakers, led by LeBron James. I do believe that series has a chance to go seven games. I think that's pretty much a coin flip, you know, depending on who's going to win that series, okay? But whether the Phoenix Suns win that series or not, the good news is the Phoenix Suns are back on the map. I have I have to give a whole lot of credit to their coaching staff and the organization at as well. The organization has drafted a lot of good players. Those players have developed under the current coaching staff. And Phoenix even went out and got a guy like a got a guy like Chris Paul this past season. You know, that's the right way to do things. You know, you find the right head coach, you know, the organization drafts players well. Those players get developed under the culture that the coach establishes. And then sometimes you just gotta go out there and make a move for a star player. That star right now is Chris Paul. And I got to say, I have a lot of respect for Monty Williams, the current Phoenix Suns head coach, because the first year Monty Williams kind of came in and sort of, you know, established his culture with the Phoenix Suns. And this year, they've taken a huge leap. And now the Phoenix Suns are a legitimate playoff team. And a big reason why is because of the offseason addition of Chris Paul. Look, the Phoenix Suns have more than exceeded my expectations, okay? And the theme you see with Chris Paul is, you know, wherever he goes, that team starts to win, and they start to win very quickly. When he was in New Orleans several seasons ago, they won games at a much higher rate than they did the previous couple of years before he got there. He took over, you know, a franchise with the Clippers that had a losing mentality and led them to the playoffs for a good stretch of time, for the for a, for a good three to four years, you know, obviously they didn't win a championship, but Chris Paul really helped turn the Clippers organization around. In Houston, they get to a conference finals and nearly beat the Kevin Durant led Golden State Warriors with Chris Paul and James Harden. Obviously, some injuries derailed things for them, but he was successful in Houston, Oklahoma City. No one thought the Oklahoma City Thunder had a chance to make the playoffs last year with Chris Paul leading that team. But Chris Paul found a way in a loaded Western Conference to get Oklahoma City to the playoffs. And now at Phoenix, he's doing really good things. This year, Chris Paul is averaging 16 points per game, shooting nearly 50% from the field, 39% from three. He's still averaging nearly 10 assists per game. He's at nine assists this year. And Chris Paul is 36 years old. So we talk about how LeBron James is still dominating in his age 36 season. We got to give the same flowers to Chris Paul, people. And Devin Booker is a guy we need to talk about. Because Devin Booker is one of the most natural scorers the game of basketball has to offer right now. And Devin Booker... Ever since his rookie year, where he averaged 13.8 points per game, since then, he's averaged 22 points per game, 24.9 points per game, 26.6 points per game, 26.6 points per game, and 25.6 points per game this year. This year, he's doing it on a winning team, so now the narrative that Devin Booker can't be on a winning team, that's out the door. And the thing you need to know about Devin Booker is, He is still only 24 years old. And in his first ever playoff game on the same court with LeBron James and Anthony Davis and Chris Paul, his own teammate, he was by far and away the best player on the court, and it wasn't even close. We have not even seen the best version of Devin Booker yet. He has an immense amount of potential. He's still learning the game of basketball, and he's still getting better and better, and I think he's going to score a lot of points, and he has a bright future in the NBA. Not to mention DeAndre Ayton, former number one overall pick, was shooting 62% from the field this year, 
I don't think DeAndre Ayton quite has lived up to the hype that he received coming out of Arizona, but he's a very solid player. He's a very good center in today's NBA. Mikel Bridges is pretty good. You got guys like Jay Crowder, you know, um, Cameron Johnson on this roster. The Phoenix Suns have put together, the organization at least, has put together a really solid roster, and the Phoenix Suns, once again, are back on the map, and it's very exciting to see um, no doubt about it. Thank you so much for watching this video today. Please also note that the Juice Alert Sports Podcast is not just a YouTube channel. It is available on all podcasting platforms, including Spotify, Google Podcasts, iTunes, and Apple Podcasts. Also, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share this content with all your friends. This podcast is my favorite thing in the entire world right now. It is my passion. And I want more people to listen to this podcast. I really want this podcast to grow. Also, a fun fact about me is that I want to go into the sports broadcasting and media world once I graduate from the University of Toledo, a college in Northern Ohio. I am looking to become one of the next great sports broadcasters and analysts out in the world. And I potentially would like to start my own network if this podcast really truly grows or if I fall short of that goal, I would love to work for a big time network like ESPN or Fox Sports 1. I am open to all networks. So if you believe in my dreams and you see or hear my passion through the screen, be sure to tell all your friends about the Juice Alert Sports Podcast. Stay motivated, you guys. Have a God-blessed day, and I'm out.